All right, I'm back with, uh, well, another performance review. This time it was Blue's turn to play. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little froggy. Um, I'm attempting to record this despite the fact that I have a bit of a cold. Um, but we'll see how it goes. This time Blue was playing FTL. Um, we, we had a little bit of trouble uh, trying to figure out what Blue was going to be playing here because... A lot of the games that one of the other of us is good at, we both play. But FTL is a game that I've sunk more than 200 hours into, and um, I've beat the game a few times, I've unlocked most of the ships and layouts, uh, and I do quite enjoy it, so I, we, we kind of went with that. And there was a little advertisement there for their other game, Into the Breach, a game that I have put less time into, but I've 100%ed. I've got all the achievements on that game. So, this type of game is a little bit more my style. Blue has not played it. Blue is doing something I don't normally do, which is naming his crew. I try not to name them because then it just, it's worse when you lose them. Because you lose, god, god damn it, Blue. He's named one of them Equestrian and one of them Fuck Grabbin. Who's the next one? Okay, let's see this. Beer, oh, bear. Oh, okay. So this is blue. I'm not sure what to think about this. The first one is me, the second one is both of us, technically, and the third one is blue. Actually, no, the second one is the most amazing lawyer ever. <laughs> this is the fat, bearded, corrupt guy. The basic strategy in um, FTL, as far as I'm concerned, is if it gives you scrap, it's good. Blue's actually reading the tips. I've never done this. <laughs> a distress, that's a good thing. You want to go for distress because distress usually means a reward. Um, so he's mapping out his route, which is good, and he's not going right for the exit. You don't want to go for the exit. If you go for the exit, you're typically not going to have enough scrap. You're just going to be fucked over. This is a pretty hard thing to fight right off the bat. It's got the... Um, the whatever the fuck called shields. <laughs> there's a there's an alien race that have um, that provide power to things, and um, their the ships that their race have give a little booster thing. You can't teleport in. You can't use bombs or missiles to pierce those shields. Um, you have to get, but they don't recharge. You have to get rid of them before you can actually get in there and do stuff. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of this. A lot of Blue fiddling around, trying to understand what each of his systems do, to understand where to best put his crew. Right now, the the, the, the the positions they're in aren't bad. You always want somebody in the pilot seat unless you have, you know, enhanced your uh, pilot uh, subsystem. But I usually try to keep a crew member in weapons and shields constantly because that boost to shield is just amazing, and the boost to weapons obviously helps you kill a little bit more. Um, if you want to be defensive, then somebody in the shield room and somebody in the- oh, there, that's what he's doing. Somebody in the shield room, somebody in the engine room, because engine rooms help with dodge, shield rooms help with shield. Holy shit, he's already- he's already lost shields, and he, he slams on the pause button! <laughs> That is the beauty of this game, though. It's it's turn-based whenever you want it to be. All right, oxygen got knocked out. That doesn't do anything. Um, it'll be back in a sec. And it, unless the rooms are completely in a vacuum, you're typically gonna be fine. All right, he knocked out their weapons and the shields, but his weapons are gone now. He's using primarily his missiles, which is something I don't agree with. You. Missiles are a limited resource, you want to save them. They also, like, get through shields. So you want to specifically target missiles on rooms that are going to matter. So fire a missile at their shields, and then turn your missiles off and just use the laser to keep hammering home at the, the systems you want to hit. Okay, he's going for weapons now, but he's still using missiles. He's really got to, like, rely on that burst laser a little bit more. I, I get what he's doing here. He's taking out their weapons so that his ship can be repaired. Um, but the the systems that are un, that were damaged are his doors and his pilot seat. He didn't have a guy in the pilot seat anyway, so. 
Also, I love how fucking I love how fuck Graven is the one who's still perfectly okay. Alright. Alright, going for shields now. That's that's smart. Um Oh, that lined up perfect. I don't know, he he probably did that by accident, but that lined up perfectly. <laughs> He took out the- because the laser wouldn't have gone through if he hadn't hit with the missile first. And he replaced most of his missiles, but he- he wasted more than he needed to. Alright, so Blue recorded for an hour, <laughs> so I'm gonna- I'm gonna fast forward through bits and pieces of this. Oh god. Alright, he's going after a mantis ship. Let's see if he gets any better at this. Oh, he lost his O2. You don't need to repair the O2. He, he went up the shields right off the bat, which was smart. Uh, but he's leaving the missiles on. He also figured out auto fire. I didn't see if he did that last time, but he was using manual fire for a while. Um, okay, let's fast forward again. Alright. This is another, this is another smart move. He's taking his time in between jumps. Oh wait, he has to. <laughs> he has to take his time because he's waiting for the engine to repair. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose or not, but this is a smart move. You don't want to jump right away. Oh, no, okay, he, he's not, he did it by accident. Keep going for distress calls, dude. You, you want to basically maximize the amount of places you go in these early areas because the enemies are weaker, and now's your chance to gather up a ton of resources, a ton of scrap, and, um... and just basically upgrade the hell out of your ship. Okay. Okay, that was good. Sometimes these random encounters will just fuck you over. Sometimes they'll actually uh, do something good. In that case, he gave them fuel. And the good deed netted him one reactor upgrade, which is pretty good. He had a ton of extra fuel, so... All good. Skip this forward a little bit. Alright, oh, his first stealth ship. And he's confused. <laughs> you can't target anything when it's stealth. One thing he hasn't figured out so far is that he can heal up these two guys if he just puts them in the big healy room right here. He also has no shields in this fight, so... I was going for stealth first. It makes sense because he realized he couldn't target anything while um, it was stealth, but that was a mistake. Like, he... The stealth is on a cooldown. He should have taking the time to go for missiles or go for something else. He still he still killed him, but he didn't need to lose as much health as he did there. Oh! <laughs> Half his ship's on fire. Oh no! No! Equestrian! Equestrian's gonna die! No, save me! Alright, let's see what happens. Oh god. Yeah, he's still gonna die. Oh my god, is he, is he, is he already dead? He took- he didn't heal anyone between, so... Everyone but fuck Grabin. Everyone but fucking fuck Grabin is- Oh, God. Yeah, Bl Blue's kind of got a- This is something that happens a lot in this game. Is that some- even when you're playing, like, in the smartest way possible, and you're making all, like, the best moves based on probability, you will occasionally just get fucked over by the game. And when I say the game, I mean just- not like the game's poorly designed, but by random chance that is a part of the game. There are plenty of runs where I've just decided, like, you know, a sector or two in, I'm like, nope, nope, not even gonna try this one. Like, I'm not gonna accomplish my goal, I'm not gonna finish anything, and so... So, something Blue's not doing here that I just thought of is he can open his... He can vent the compartments to space. He can open up and, like, essentially... Um, just if you evacuate the oxygen from these middle compartments, the fire will go out on its own. He's not doing that, though. He's not doing that, though. Oh, no! A question! I'm dead. Alright, my, my character's dead. Oh, he figured it out! Okay. Oh, maybe he just couldn't do that because the door systems were broken? 
That's possible. Okay, so maybe he, he wanted to do that, but his doors were broken and so he couldn't. Oh! <laughs> because his cameras are out, he can't see that... Oh no! Oh no! And he's gone. It's only blue left. Of course, the one per- He sent him into the evacuated room! <laughs> okay, he's trying again. He just reset it. Oh my god, that couldn't have ended in a better way. But that, that really is how a lot of initial runs in this game go, is they, they, they start off like that. Jesus, this, the game's just punched him right off the bat. But a lot of games in this do go that way when you first start out, or like you'll just go into a run, even when you don't first start out and you try out a new ship or something like that, you can, it's very possible to just die in the first sector or the second sector, just because you have a run of bad luck you have an enemy ship that you're just not equipped to deal with, and, or you lose your crew, which is what happened, you know, to him. He won the battle and then and then lost his crew. Well, I would have waited for the uh, rooms to get re-oxygenated. Ended up being okay, but still. What am I doing here? I'm, I'm just like kind of lost my own thoughts. I forgot I'm recording something. Alright, we can we can fast forward. He's getting better at this. He's doing what he needs to do. Kill ship, get scrap. Oh no, he's staying around the dangerous sun though. There he goes. Ooh, it, well, hold on. This is a thing. Is he going to hire the mercenary? Oh, I just decided to fight him. Okay. That's what I usually do, too. Um, I mean, you really need to take every opportunity to get scrap that you can in this game, so... Whenever you have the option to hire a mercenary, so if you aren't, like, desperate for it, it's better to just... That's, that's bad as it sounds. Better to just murder him and take their shit. Are you still moving? Oh... You know what it is? It's because... So I just realized what's going on here. Because Blue has been taking people out of the pilot seat, his ship can't dodge at all. So normally the fact that you only have one shield is going to be supplemented by the fact that your ship will occasionally dodge shots. If you have a pilot. Only if you have a pilot. Or if you've upgraded the system so there's an auto dodge. He is taking advantage of the pause quite often, which is something I don't do, but I should do if I wanted to be better at this game. <laughs> the thing he's not doing though is, yeah, he, he basically, what I'm seeing here is his, he's got a few like sound strategies, but he's got some like, lack of understanding in terms of how the game actually works. Like, he's wasting missiles, he's not got a guy in the pilot seat, and he is repairing things that don't matter mid-combat. Um, but these are all things that if he just played a little more, he'd, he'd be able to figure out. He's got the basics down. Fight everything, get scrap, um, you know let your ship vent when you have a fire. Like, right there, the medical room is meaningless in this fight. And him taking him off the pilot seat, that's giving up something like 15 or 20% dodge, I think. Because up here you see where the percentage... He's at 0% dodge, and watch. When he puts the guy back in the pilot seat, it's gonna go back up, and... Boom. 15% dodge right there just from having a guy in the pilot seat. I think it gets a little bit from... But the, the ship gets zero dodge if the guy's not in that seat. Alright, let's... 
let's uh, so aid the civilian ship. Oh yeah, he's yeah he's looking at the health. He's thinking about it. So you got to take the risk. You need that scrap. He could. There's there's different ways he could be doing this. Um, he's taking the guy out of the pilot seat again. At least in this case, he took out the weapons first, so that the shield can at least take care of that. Ooh. Oh, well, the guy has no missiles anymore. No missiles and no drone. So... It's something. Alright, contact the civilian. Oh, hey! So half the time the civilian will just run away and not give you anything. This time they actually stuck around to pay you back. Um... But either way, that was the right choice. Even with that little health, in this, in these early stages, generally you're going to be able to survive. Unless you fuck up or aren't paying attention. That was a mistake. Uh, is he going to go to the next sector? Ah, it's not really a good idea. No, you want to stay in this sector. See, right there, what... Like, this is the mistake I made for a long time playing this game, is thinking that once you get to the exit, you should move on. You shouldn't. You should spend as much time in the early sectors as possible. Just hunt down that scrap, killing random people, and taking their shit. And I, I love how the premise of this game is you're like, you're here to warn that there's a rebellion against the Federation. It's like, yeah, the, it seems like the rebellion's pretty warranted if you're out here just killing random folk. Oh no! Equestrian is gone! How could you? Oh, okay, good, good, good. You want to supplement the crew so they have the fight. The, the onboard fights are something that, um... Can go, like... Can go pretty bad if you're not paying attention. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Good. Okay, good. I, I saw him do this earlier and I didn't mention it. Uh, I'm glad that he's learned how to use the medical bay. Because <laughs> that was a, a tragic misstep last time. He needs to get to a store. For some repairs. There we go. Okay. Store. Uh, no, no. Look for the repair button. Yeah! There you go. Uh, you could use some crew. But who's he going to go with? Honestly, I'd go with the um, John. Because... Yeah, just because he's... They're, they're better, like, tech-wise. The other two are better combat roles, but... If you want, like, somebody who's gonna help out on the... Oh, he did! Okay, he went with John. He needs more missiles. Yeah. Yeah, that's smart. He needs to stop wasting the missiles he has. <laughs> oh, look at that! You got lucky there. Sometimes you'll have to do a combat roll, but this early, they're not that challenging. That was smart. Put him on shields. I do like how he's 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 learning. He's moving his targets around mid-combat. He's not just leaving them auto-firing in the same locations. Oh, this is... Okay, okay. These... Oh, he's got a quest now. Okay. Oh, another stealth ship. Will he go for the stealth drive again? No, stop taking people off of the ships! Fucking... You need to have somebody in the pilot seat, otherwise putting someone in the engine room is irrelevant. I know he can't hear me, but it's annoying. Oh no, he's, he's getting fucked over by the asteroids. Oh boy. Okay, he's trying though. He's, he's putting out fires. Yeah, he needs to have somebody on the pilot seat, because they, they'll dodge asteroids, too. I mean, it's irrelevant now because the engines are busted, but... If he had... It, he just... Uh, okay, he might live through this. Alright. He, he killed the enemy ship, but... Okay, he's putting him back in the engine room. He's going for that quest. Oh, no. Combat. This is not what he was hoping for. He's actually reading these quests. I never do. Uh, well, I, I used to when I first played the game, but now I know basically what... that everything has a chance to fuck you over, and so I don't read anything anymore. Um, okay, okay. He's got somebody in the pilot seat. He's learning. 
okay, okay, okay. He's getting the scrap. He's, you know... He's repairing only the systems that matter. Like, good things are happening here. Maybe you know, go with the repair. Okay. I've done that to be economical before. You just repair what you can and then, you know, buy more resources. Okay, this is what he needs. Okay, he's got one guy on shields, one guy on... Oh, sell the drones. You're not using drones for shit. There you go. So, there's two things I just noticed. One, I don't think he's upgraded his ship systems yet. Because I don't think he knows how. He's still got one shield. And he hasn't upgraded power for any system. Oh, no. <laughs> That's going to be very, very bad now that he's in the third sector. He does have a rock boy now, which is good. They're they're good for taking down, like, intruders. And they're also great for fires, because they're immune to them. Um, okay, okay. Solid hit. Oh, he found it! Hey, look at that! He found his way to upgrade things. I think he just realized this himself, that he was not upgrading ship systems. He's explore he's exploring a brand new men oh he's named oh my god he's he's renamed I'm actually in the game now and so's his girlfriend <laughs> It's gonna be really awkward when uh, one of the named cast dies this time. Oh, no, no, you should have... You gotta accept the surrender. Take everything you can get. There's... there's you, you don't get jack shit for doing good deeds in this game. <laughs> Unless it's saving people, because then you can steal their goods. Right, what's he looking to get now? Repair's always a solid choice. Getting more missiles, okay. Uh, it doesn't really need fuel. And he, yeah, he can't really sell what he has, because it's all he has. Uh, four points of damage, 18 scrap, that's not bad. There's worse things that can come out of those. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing really happened there, that can end badly. Ooh, hey, you just found a free weapon! This is this is the this is a fucking like war crimes kind of weapon. You fire that thing at an enemy ship, and it it basically if there's no shields, it it just kills the crew. It doesn't do any damage to the ship; it just kills the crew. Okay, so now he's realizing he has to upgrade his weapon systems, add more power. Oh, he's he's charged it. Okay, he's going into the civilian sector with the anti bio beam. Okay, <laughs> continuing on from where I left off, Blue has now made it into a new sector with a fun new war crimes weapon. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see where this goes with him. I, he's actually reading these quests, which is fascinating to me. Oh, he got a new crew member! Oh, but he has no fuel! Uh, two misses for... yeah, that's... I mean, he really has not a choice. And he's not using missiles right now, either. He's using lasers. God, everyone is asking to trade with him. This... Yep. And now that he just ran out of fuel, he's buying a ton of fuel. Sell his missile thing. Good, good, good. Fix your ship. Dude, it's never a bad idea to fix your ship. Okay, he got a drone. He can sell that. He can go back to the shop. Oh, okay. Okay, he's now got a chow on his ship. He's now naming his crew members like one names their pets. He hasn't upgraded his shields yet, which is something that worries me, but... Let me see what happened. Oh no, you need to... The laser... Okay, the laser's going first, which should be okay. Oh, he's trying to hunt down the guy in his ship because he has no... 
Yeah, he found him. Okay, that's smart. Put the rock guy in there. He's gonna have to be careful because Chow is about to get fucked over. Oh god, so is Rockman. Okay, okay. He's, he's actually playing this very smart. Like... Interesting. Okay. Yep. No, he's playing this smart. He's got his... He's, he's changing his crew out. He's got enough crew members that he can rotate them for combat. But he, he needs to keep someone in the... Ah, oh, there we go. It's a pilot seat. Um... That was probably smart in this case. He, like, he might have gotten a slightly better offer if he had waited. But... It's probably better that he didn't. Yeah. At this point, fight him. But you, you, God, Blue, you gotta, gotta do something about your shields. You got 120 scrap. Look at you, you got one shield. He has a heavy laser now. Which, yeah, that was smart. The bio beam isn't gonna do shit for him. Not against a two shield. So one thing he, um, it's not really a fuck up, but it's something that isn't a smart move, is he's constantly changing which room his crew's in. Your crew builds up expertise over time, like doing different functions in the ship, be it pilot, shield, weapons, you know, engines. And if you keep moving them, then they're, you're never going to get to like that high tier. It's better to have one guy who specializes in like everything. Like every, like one guy per area is what I mean. And he, by, because he's rotating them around, which is keeping them alive and keeping them healthy, but it means that none of them are ever going to be any good at, like they're never going to be like the, the high tier people that you need in these systems late game. He's going for, he's going for the stealth drive again. I don't agree with this. Like, shields and weapons always should be priority. If you have, like, time to spare, then go for stealth or teleport or supplements. Yeah, that was smart. He needed to get out of there. He was That was a losing fight. And, God, you need to upgrade the shields. Yeah, sell the shit out of that. You don't, you don't even have a drone system. <clears throat> the heavy lays, sell the bio beam. Bio beam is what you need to get rid of. Get rid of the fucking bio beam. It, it looks cool, but it's... Okay. That's a good upgrade. That actually, that's... Yeah. No, no, buy that. Buy the shield charge booster! Actually, buy some fucking shields! Oh, my God. Blue, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Oh, yes. No, buy the shields. Buy the shields. Come on. Come on. It's 50. 50 bucks. You could do it. You can do it, yes! He did it! Put some shields on you! <clears throat> there you go. And you still got enough left over to power your burst lasers. And then you get one more scrap and you can get your useless bio beam. It needs 50, uh, f 26 scrap. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Oh god, I definitely have a fucking cold. Oh no, he- oh, he fell behind. Oh, the fleet caught up with him. Um, no, dude, get rid of your medicine or oxygen. You don't need those. I'm, I'm, it sounds funny, but you can actually get rid of both of those things, because your crew generally is going to be okay. He should have healed up uh, Fuck Rabin and Bear before he teleported. Uh, if he had done that, then I would say that there's no risk for him taking off the medicine thing. Not no risk, but very low risk. Um, other thing that... And this is just something that Blue probably would have figured out eventually. His rock guy is doing nothing. Had he thrown them in the uh, camera room, then he would be able to see what's happening on the enemy ship and could more accurately target rooms that have people in them and to dinner all right let's uh let's go i, I yeah considering the amount of time left in this video this is probably where blue lost and understandable it's really tough when you get caught by the fleet and he's against a three shield ship he's got one shield 
he's got basically one weapon, because the anti-bio uh, beam does nothing. Oh no, he has two shields, but they're broken. Yeah, it's... And plus, it, what happens in these battles is not only is this ship shooting him, but all of these other ships in the background... The, this right here, this they're firing artillery blasts at you, so he just... They act as an environmental threat. So, yeah, he's... He's scrambling around. Yeah, that's that's rough. And that, that's that's where he, he left off. He did a lot better on the second try. The first try, there was he made a lot of very obvious mistakes, but um, he did he did do much much better on the second try. And you could see him start to figure things out as he went. Um, and he was also playing on normal, um, but he, his previous high score apparently was on. He was telling me this uh, when he told me he recorded it, that he previously only played on easy. Um, and now he's done two games on normal, so compared to his score of 211, uh, he got 1300 the second time. Um, so I, it wasn't bad. And I could understand, like, even just watching him play, I could understand his line of logic. So. Uh, as is the common form with these videos, uh, I will now bring Blue in. And now we're here with the interview section, where, uh, I get to talk to Blue about what I just watched. I uh, fucked up. <laughs> so, um, well, one of the things I want to say, I, I do, I, one of the things I was impressed of, first of all, let's start with the positive. Mm. Um, no, wait, don't never start with the positive. Oh, why? I like to give you the good news before I punch you in the balls repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna think, is that you're gonna shit on me? <laughs> <and it's> gonna... <laughs> okay, fine, I'll start with the negative. The <laughs> negative was that it took you forever to realize that you could upgrade your goddamn shields. By the end of the... the yeah. By the end of the video, I was practically screaming, just... God, the shields! Well, upgrade the fucking <laughs> shields! Well, like, to that half the fucking ships that attacked me used missiles, which, like, went through the shields, right? They do, which, this is, leads me on to point two that really annoyed me. You kept pulling people off of the helm! You need yeah. the one place you always, always, always have to have someone is on the helm, because your ship will dodge. I thought they had to be in the engines to dodge. The engines boost your dodge, but... If you don't have someone on the helm, uh, there's no one driving the ship to allow okay, you to die. I didn't realize yeah. that. I probably should have worked that out, to be fair, but there was a lot of things going on. <laughs> there was. And you there, there were there were quite this leads me into the like one of the things that you did right, which was that you made ample use of the pause feature. Which was yeah, every I felt like it was a bit scummy and maybe I shouldn't, but like No. Uh, yeah. If but... like the only time that if you Playing on easy is when you don't use the pause feature. Yeah. The pause feature is is an essential part of the game. Don't feel scummy for using it. Like, <laughs> the people who, like, go, like, don't use the pause feature at all, those people are either sociopaths or they're so hardcore. They're the kind of people who want to play, like, Halo with a Guitar Hero controller. It's... Yeah. You don't... Use the pause feature. It's there for a reason, and it is so important. Um, yep. So that is that. Other thing, you kept moving your guys all around the ship. To repair stuff. But most of the time you were repairing stuff that was completely unnecessary. Yeah, the medic bay, I, like, I was actually... It took you a while to work uh... out what the medic bay did, and once you did, you, you used it quite a bit. But you jumped... Oh, I knew what it... Did. I just didn't. You didn't need use it, for it a very long time. No, you didn't use yeah. it. You kept jumping. Well, no one died no. from you from dying to that. You kept no. You actually your first loss was directly related to you not using the medic bay. But the reason that like I got absolutely screwed there because the door controls were fucked. The, That's why like, the two most important things were right next to each other and they were on fire. That like, was... I couldn't heal people to put out the fires, and I couldn't open the doors to put out the fires. And the reason you couldn't heal them full enough was because you jumped without healing. Like, you you, right, you jumped yeah. to a new system, and the, the Fuck Rabin was okay, which I laughed mm. about that, by the way, that Fuck Rabin was the only guy at full <laughs> HP. Um, but <laughs> Equestrian and Blue, they were both low, and you should have healed them up 
but you didn't, and you jumped into combat, and that's when everything got damaged and it set on fire. So they didn't have the health they needed to put out the fires. Yeah, that was just like I had a small panic attack when I realized the two most important rooms were on to fire. Help each other were on fire. <laughs> yeah, like, I, 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 yeah, I did see that happen. Um, but you you definitely improved on that in later playthroughs. But what I mean about not shifting yep. your crew around is none of them ever had a chance to develop expertise because you kept moving them They're to different, different rooms. Well, yeah, exactly. I kept Fokgrav, I think it was, in the missile bay almost the whole time for the second run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the second run also, every every new person... By the way, I love the new naming conventions. You gave up on the uh, the meme names and just called it after people you knew until you got to chat. Well, I got blue already. You had uh, blue already, but then in the second yep. playthrough you also added Kaiser <laughs> so, and Vampy. Well, let's think. Like, I had a really muscly, tough dude... And I had a little nerdy person, and I was like, "I'm gonna make Kai's the little nerdy person." And you made your yeah, and you made your girlfriend the buff one, <laughs> the fucking golem, yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, like you, you got a few things right, like buying, um, like using the uh, the rock person for combat and stuff like that, and um, yeah. Also, well, I, like, I wanted to get a mantis, but so, so my my plan for that was to get a teleportation bay, because I was I started off. I went down to, like, two people. Yeah. And I was like, shit, I need more people. And I was like, now I've got actually quite a few people. I should capitalize on this. Because the missile thing, while it's good, was like... You were... I hate how much you, 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 you also... Oh, God. Okay. So, tell me your plan, and then I'll go to my next critique. Uh, yeah, so, then, like, I didn't have enough... Annoyingly, I just didn't have enough firepower to get through people's shields after that, but... I thought the heavy laser was going to do more damage, to be honest. You, oh god, can um, I, t let, let's, let's pause there. You sold the heavy laser and kept the stupid fucking bio beam. Yeah. The bio, did I, did I sell the heavy laser? You sold the heavy laser and kept the bio beam right before you lost. Right, okay. Um, um and I was, I was, I was like, alright, you know, get rid of the bio beam, yeah, you can probably sell that and buy something else, and it was, and you sold the heavy laser, and I was like, what? Well, it was kind of, it didn't. It didn't do that much damage the, the, at the time when I did use it. The problem is the bio beam does zero damage. Well, yeah, it kills the people. It kills the people if they have no shield. Yeah, well, but my plan was to knock out the shield, and then when they went to go and repair the shield, I would nuke the room with the bio beam. But my you didn't have the weapons. Weapon was to... never strong enough to break the shield. Exactly, which is why uh, you needed the heavy laser. So there was a plan there. It just wasn't very good. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the missiles like you you had a few things right. Like you lined up um missile shots first and then used beam weapons second because the missile shot is what will actually penetrate and then do that. Yeah. But well, you wasted a lot of missiles. Like you I didn't realize I had a cap on the missiles until like halfway through. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, I was right, wondering my about that. went over it and I was like, "Oh, fuck. I have one missile." I was wondering about that. Because yeah. you were you were blowing through a ton of missiles on basically nothing systems. Also, like every fucking distress beacon I went to, pretty much was like, "Haha, we tricked you again." <laughs> it's like <laughs> in general, that's how they go. And you like oh, a couple me. times you um, did good deeds and just kind of let people go on the way. Yeah, bad decision. You yeah. basically <laughs> need to take every opportunity to fuck people over and take their stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that got me killed, probably. Um, you you got that right with uh, the mercenaries. Like, a couple times you fought a mercenary, and you yeah, were... Because well, they're like, oh, you no. can hire us for X amount of scrap, or you can just oh, shoot no, them that. and then take the scrap. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the things I was looking for... I, know, I, I didn't realize I was out in fuel until I ran out of fuel. Like, I knew it was a thing, and I had been keeping an eye on it previously, but I thought I had more... And suddenly I had none. Yeah, yeah. And you got um, lucky, because they on the first wait, they actually came to you. Nor yeah. like well, even if it was an enemy, I was pretty well, like, stocked at that point. I could have probably killed an enemy. Yeah, with weapons, just not fuel. fuel. And I actually, I think I, I laughed about this in my uh, watching of it, because at the next station, you just bought, like, a whole fuckload of fuel, and I was like, yep, I yep. just fucking bought them out, yeah. <laughs> yep, that, that's why he needs it. And um uh, oh, the, oh god, after that, so I waited, I got the fuel for like two missiles, like three fuel for two missiles, and then I immediately went to a place where they were gonna give me five fuel for three missiles. And I only had one missile left. Yep. And I was like, fuck 
You're, the game's doing this on purpose. You're, you're actually gonna probably laugh a bit when you, you watch my reaction. Um, because there's a couple times you go into a shop, and I'm like, okay, this is the smart thing for him to buy. And then you actually bought it. And there's other times where I'm like, okay, as long as he doesn't do this, he's fine. And then you do that exact thing, and I'm like, what the fuck? Right? Uh, also, I didn't realize there was a page two for quite a while in the shops. Uh, not all of them have a page two. It also yeah, took you yeah. quite a while to figure out how to upgrade your ship. I think it was like halfway through the second playthrough. I mentioned this already. Yeah, I kind of assumed that... I, I, I thought that the shop you bought upgrades from there, but no, yeah. Um, I, I realized the whole scrap and the, the reactor thing quite a bit later. Yeah. That's why my when, shield was yeah, tardy. Yeah, exactly. When you finally upgraded your shield, I was... I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, I may have. Like I said, they just kept missing the shit out of me. I may have cheered in class. Well, that was the other the reason that early on I was getting aggravated watching you pull somebody off of the helm because I'm like, that's the only way to get rid of missiles. You have to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was completely unaware of that the whole time. Yeah, um, and the the, the the thing that like also got to me was like you kept. You would pull off the helmsman to repair nothing systems. Like, oxygen you can get by without. Um, it takes a long time for it to dissipate. The same thing with door systems or with camera systems. You can get by without those. Um, in, in like, a pinch. Like, in combat. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it does make me very nervous, though, when I can't see the shit. <laughs> that is a thing, yeah. I mean, I always had enough people at one point to cover the whole fucking shit. You really did, yeah. yeah, yeah. When when you were at your peak in the second playthrough, you you were doing really good, and I I liked the way that you had people, you kept people on critical systems, and you actually kept people on the helm more often near the end, and like, okay, he's actually doing good. But what? Yeah, I had enough people I could do that. What ended up fucking you over is you, um, ironically, the opposite of your problem in your uh, early playthrough. So, one of the things that is, like, a core concept in that game is you need to, especially in the first two or three sectors, go everywhere you can. Like, take as yeah. long as you can before you jump to the next sector. But, the first sector, I was on, like, 10% hull left. Yeah. That's why I pushed on, because I couldn't see any stalls, and I was just like... Is there just no stores in this area? I didn't realize you had to be a certain distance from. Yeah, them. you had to get to their exactly. And I was wondering about that because I'm because I, I was at at the time I was watching and I was like, oh no, just jump to the next sector. You might find a store. Come on. And that's well, no, so I did. No, no, no. Jump to the next point. I meant. You oh, did okay, find right, a store right. when you went to the next sector, but you also yeah. had like the fleet was half a like half a map away. You could have yeah, no, fucking miles away. Yeah. So. You you got a little bit more confident later on with that, but oh, in the Engi sector, that was like just nice thing after nice thing. Also, the fucking Engi spaceship sex, which your character was like, oh, I, I don't want to go over there and help them. They're kind of fucking ships right now. <laughs> yeah, like that's a thing. This um, this this leads me on to one of the other comments um, that I had was like I saw you mousing over things on the screen. I was like, oh my god, he's actually reading the text. Yeah, I haven't read the text in FTL since I first played it. Like at this point, There's some weird stuff in there. There prob there there definitely is, but at this point, I've played it so much that I just mm. kind of I know basically what it is and what the probability of yes or no answers are and so i just like kind of you know gloss over it go like okay i know what this one is accept or decline or whatever i know which yeah, ones I mean, are high risk the game is a is a is a like a, a written game like <laughs> i feel like it was kind of necessary yeah 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 um, oh man yeah. but you you did get close and you you ended up getting uh killed by environmental hazards and just like a fuck up cascade and that's something that, like... Well, I, I attacked a, a mercenary... No, no, wait, I, I just escaped the mercenary You escaped ship, the right? mercenary ship, and then before you could get out of the sector and charge your jump, you got caught yeah. up by the fleet, and so you were getting killed by environmental hazards and stuff like that. 
yeah, and everything was on fire. Yeah. And I couldn't open it up. I thought I did quite well with the um, siphoning the fires out. You did, actually. What Like, I was actually commenting on this early in my watch through. I was like, oh, no, he just needs to open the doors. And then I realized your doors were damaged. And then I saw you yeah. you would pause and strategically open and close the doors and stuff. I'm like, okay, okay, he's got the, the right idea. so fast. <laughs> it's like, oh, but the thing is, you had the right idea. Hmm. You had the right idea, and it was it was good. Um, also, given a little bit more HP on each of them, I probably could have recovered that. Yeah, yeah. I you you got the right idea, and it was I, something I said multiple times while watching was that like okay, he's learning, he's got the you know he's got the concept, you know, and he you kept. Yep. There were multiple times where I was like, early on, I was like, oh, he's doing this wrong, and then like. Five minutes later, I could see you figuring it out and starting to do it right. Hmm. So as as many stupid and aggravating things that like got under my skin early on, you did eventually piece them together as you kept playing. Yeah. Oh god! At one point, also like all the power was just I had a bunch of power stocked up and none of it was going to the systems, and I was like, Wait, yeah, why the fuck? It's because you were in a nebula. Oh, right. No. Nebula, no I, nebulas disable certain parts of your ship. No, but I could, I could turn the stuff back on. It just wasn't... Like, I paused the game at one point, and I was like, I've got all this power available. Oh, it I've may have been... Got... It may have actually been because you just left a nebula. Or because you just repaired a sister or something uh, like that. You have to... Yeah, because I had, like, people in the medic bay, and they weren't healing up. I was like, what? Why is this not happening? When that happens, normally it's because you have to like manually restore power to systems yeah um also turning on the fucking weapons every time they get turned off for whatever reason i i just wasn't noticing it because it's like a small box on the screen yeah uh, and so i was quite late with them <laughs> but yeah if i got that teleporter i reckon i could have got a lot further but you also in the last story I went into i forgot to do that i was gonna buy one and so I bought a bunch of random other crap, and then I was like, ah, fuck. There is a large degree of random to the game, but you can kind of influence and control it a good deal. And for what it's worth, uh, for it being, what, your second and third time playing through the game, um, yeah. you did you did pretty good. Like, your, your, you. your first run was predictable, <laughs> um, hmm. and I got a good laugh out of it. But your second run, I was rooting for you, and you actually you got a you got quite a few things right. Or to get sector three, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think you got further than that. I think you were in sector four, oh. or maybe you were on your jump to sector four. You were either in sector four or on your jump to sector four. It was one or the All other. Right. Yeah. But, but yeah. It's well, fun. I still prefer um <coughs> their other game, the fucking turn-based one. Uh, yeah, Into the Breach. I beat I'd say they're quite different games, because I fucking rock at Into the Breach, but I suck. Actually, I haven't got that much time in FTL, so I can't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, it's hard. You FTL is a, a slow burn. You, yeah, you don't get... I was also going for a good guy playthrough, and... <laughs> That's a mistake. Yeah, that was a, that was a big mistake. No, the whole point <laughs> of FTL is... So there's a re... The, the, the rebellion that is chasing you is fully justified, because you're part of the government, and... You're an asshole. That's the only way to win. <laughs> right. Okay. I thought they were the government and then we were the. No, 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 no. The yeah. rebellion is the people chasing you. Because yeah, at one point, like a ship stopped off, and they were like, "We know you're on a secret mission. Have this laser." Yeah, it's because you're you're a spy. You're a spy in the rebellion, and you're chasing, like racing against time to get the critical information back to the government so they can quash the rebellion. That doesn't feel like a uh, diplomatic mission, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Going to Alderaan. Mm. Uh, all right. Well, but yeah, I had fun watching. Well, uh, it's your turn to choose uh, what I'm playing next. Do we have any ideas what what exactly I'm going to be playing? Not a clue just yet. <laughs> okay, we've got a list, but look forward to it. Mystery game next time, and I will be the one on the chopping block. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed.